हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू नॉलेज सर्कल वंस अगेन इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल सी सम आउटपुट बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस दैट कैन बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर आईसीएसई क्लास टेन कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स बिगिन दिस वीडियो देर आर टेन क्वेश्चंस आई हैव टेकन हियर दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन वेर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द आउटपुट देर आर थ्री मैथमेटिकल मैथड्स हियर so let's see math dot c b r t one three three one plus math dot p o w one four four comma one by two and plus math dot p o w two hundred eighty nine comma zero point five so let's calculate let's see what will be output so c b r t method is used to calculate the cube root so uh, the cube root of one three three one it will be eleven so we'll write here eleven math dot p o w one four four one upon two so one upon two actually uh, this method uh, expect us to give it integer value so here it is 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 in integer it will be 0 only so what will happen that this method will return 1 uh, 144 power 0 so the value will be 1 here okay so now here it is 11 and plus 1 and this is what 289 289 0.5 here we have given 0.5 as power so uh, it will be what 289 and uh, 0.5 power so here it will be square root of 289 okay so the square root of 289 how much it will be it will be 17 so first one 11 second one is 1 and the third one is 17 so when we add it we get total 29 29.0 the so correct answer will be 29.0 one thing that we need to take care is that whenever in math dot pow the second argument that is the power when it comes 1 upon 2 it will be treated as 0 and when it comes 0.5 then we have to do the square root that we need to take care let's move to the second question how many times the inner loop will be executed there are two loops uh, inner and outer the outer loop has to run how many times it will run two times only because initially i is equal to 1 and it should go up to lesser than 3 means i should be 1 and 2 only let's go to inner loop which is j j equal to 1 j depends on i so when j is, i is 1 j will run one time so one time hash will be printed and uh, when i becomes 2 then again uh, j will go two time because it depends on i so first time one hash and second time two hash is printed next time the i value is what the value of i is uh, 3 which is uh, the condition gets false the loop is terminated so uh, total number of time is 3 the inner loop execute first time one and second time two times so total the correct answer for this is that uh, inner loop executes three times let's go to question number third here we have two character uh, variable that is c1 and c2 the value of c1 is capital c and the value of c2 is small d we have to find we have to we have two printing statement here two integer variables are also there a and b that is 5 and 4 so let us add c1 and c1 plus a so c1 is what c1 is a character variable and the value is c so c is capital so here we can see that implicit conversion is there one is character and one is integer so automatically compiler converts implicitly okay so here c1 the corresponding ascii value of c1 is a uh, c is what it will be 67 how much it will be 67 so 67 and plus a a is 5 67 plus 5 how much it will be it will be 72 so the output of the first one is going to be 70 it will be 72 let's go to the second one c2 minus b c2 is how much d and it is small d so we know that the small uh, a that is a, a lower case a begins with 97 the ascii value of that is 97 so d will be what 97 98 90 9 and 100 it will it, it's going to be 100 so it will it will be 100 and minus b b is 4 so 100 minus 4 it's going to be 96 it will be 96 so so our two output will be first one is going to be 72 and the second is one is going to be 96 okay let's go to question number 4 which is uh, there is a string uh, the characters are mat uh, characters are m a t t e r matter dot replace t has to be replaced with n so very simple so wherever t is there it will be replaced by n so our new string will be what 
um, it will be manner but also we have two upper case so the output will be something like this here it will be capital M a and T will be replaced by n so it will be n n e r this will be our output moving towards question number five we have a string n the value is computer knowledge we have another string m which is having value computer application okay so we are printing here system dot out dot println n dot substring 08 concat m dot substring 9 okay so what does substring method do substring method is used to extract a part of string from a string so 0 to 8 means 0 is the beginning value 8 means 1 lesser than that so 0 to 7 let us count here in the n 0 to 7 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will go up to computer it will go up to computer so we will extract computer from the first string c o m p u t e r done then after concat concat there is no space also m dot substring 9 so we have to take what uh, we have to begin from the index 9 let's go to the second string uh, in the second string we are searching so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 8 9 9 is beginning from a so the extraction from the second string will be application what it will be application so the first we have extracted computer and second we have extracted application so our output will be uh, the first output will be computer application without space computer and then application it will come without space okay then it comes second one system dot out dot print ln n ends with e n is what computer knowledge and this string is ending with e so this ends with method checks for that whether the string is ending with the uh, given character or not so the given character is e and it is really ending with the same character so the output will be boolean and that will be true so what will be printed here it will be printed t r u e true true will be printed the so first will be computer application and the next is going to be true let us go to question 6 where uh, we have to find the value of y the beginning value of y is initial value is 6 so let's calculate here okay so y plus equal to so y equal to it will be 6 plus 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 y means pre increment so we will write here 7 plus y minus minus uh, so it is uh, post in uh, decrement so it will remain 7 only now just after writing it we have to determine that the value is decreased the value is 6 now again the value is decreased so pre decrement so it will be from 6 it will become 5 so 6 plus 7 that is 13 13 plus 7 it is 20 and plus 5 so the correct the final value of y will be 25 so the answer of this question is 25 moving towards question 7 uh, there is a string uh, the values are transparent the string is transparent dot compare to transition so what does compare to method do that it uh, lexicographically it compares the character in uh, this is our string transparent dot compare to transition so t is equal to t r is equal to r a is equal to a n is equal to n even s is equal to s next one the, where the next is the sixth one is p and the next one is i so here we will do subtraction p minus i the corresponding value of uh, p is capital p is ASCII value 80 and i is 73 so uh, 80 minus 73 how much we get we get 7 here so this will be 7 the next task is plus india dot last index of i so india is having how many characters five characters so index start from zero and it goes up to four so i last index of i is what let us see here uh, that is i is at zero n one d two and i again three so it will be seven plus three and the total is ten so uh, what will be the output the output is going to be ten let's go to question number eight we have math.max and uh, some number of uh, some methods are here nested library methods of maths class so let's write here max we have to find max uh, the maximum value first of all sqrt 196 so square root of 196 is 14 plus cube root of 17, uh, 1728 it, it's going to be 12 okay 
now math dot floor 14.2 how much 14.2 14.2 will be rounded to the nearest lower integer so the nearest lower integer integer is 14 minus and math dot seal seal does what it rounds the nearest greater integer so minus 14.8 it lies between minus 14 and minus 15 so the greatest integer will be here minus 14 so it's already here minus 14 we will write here and uh, now so what will be 14 plus 12 it's going to be 26 and here minus is outside also and inside also minus so it's going to be plus and now it will be 28 so which is bigger out of 26 and 28 28 so the output of this uh, statement is going to be 28.0 because uh, all the methods of maths class return the value in double okay so 28.0 is the correct answer let's go to question number nine how many times uh, is the masses in the loop will be printed so let's see here the initial value of a is 6 and b is 12 and this loop will run till the value of a is lesser than b and the message will be printed in the loop so now 6 is lesser than 12 condition is true so what will be printed uh, in the loop will be printed one time now the value of a is increased by 2 now a is now 8 the value of a is 8 and the value of b will be decreased by 2 and that will become 10 now uh, again condition will be checked 8 is lesser than 10 condition true the loop will execute once again now the value of uh, a is updated which was previously 8 now the value will become 10 and the value of b which was previously 10 it will become 8 a is lesser than b no a is not lesser than b condition false loop terminates and this message is printed only two times so the correct answer is that this message will be printed two times last question for this video what value is stored in num at the end of this loop there is a variable num of integer type the loop runs how many times it runs from 1 to 15 so the end of this loop the value will be 16 the value will be 16 how because this loop runs 15 times and after that the value of num increase and it becomes 16 and which is, uh, at that time condition gets false. So finally when the loop gets over the value of num will be 16.